Hey everybody, Carrie here for Virtual Bastion, and thank you for coming back for more Horizon Zero Dawn. This is uh, the fourth episode of my first ever playthrough of this game, which I'm very happy to share with you, and I hope you've enjoyed what randomness has been go going on so far. I feel very random whenever I start out a new game, so, <laughs> so my apologies there. Uh, we're actually moving along steadily with uh, Aloy's story. Um, and here we have just entered maybe the Proving Grounds. I'm not entirely sure, but we're here with Rost. And uh, it's nighttime. And we discovered a dead beast here that's called the Sawtooth. And is apparently pretty dangerous. Uh, okay, so I was <laughs> looking for my quest marker. I can search this Sawtooth. Pick up some stuff. Very good. Okay, so there are markers down this way. Follow the path. It's not far. Our cabin. Nice. What happened to it? A machine, that's why. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh, I see. Pretty matter of fact there. <laughs> I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. That's a good advice. One that I need to learn to take because I'm bad at focusing in on one thing and forgetting all else. Okay. Ah, I see. The watcher in the distance. Turkey! Pig! Oh, you guys are giving away my location. Oops. I was trying to crouch. See if I can actually use my focus here to... Maybe I don't have to necessarily kill this guy. <laughs> he sure is watching, though. Sneak past. If I have to come back and kill him, I will. If I don't, all right, he's not even looking at me, so. Let's keep going. I'm listening to see if he comes after me. No, he's just following his own, his own track. Razor. Another type of enemy, it would seem. Uh, I guess I have to go up. Okay. I might have to go down. Oh, no, I see. There we go. An entire lodge wrecked by sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. Ooh, yeesh. is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. Do you understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Okay. So the game wants to leave it up to Aloy, but also wants to tell you what to do, so... <laughs> Am I going to make it into the tall grass before he sees me? 
Okay, so see if we can do what the game wants us to do. I see. So conceivably, I should be able to put um, I should be able to <laughs> use my bow to put a sh shock wire here and here. Okay, and then I'll go back into the grass. I will... Where is he? This might take a minute, depending on where he is. Uh, and then I will select my bow. Oh, there he is. I see you now. Once again, first playthrough, still learning. So, this might go very slowly. I have not seen the shock wire in action, so let's see if it actually works. He's coming. This is really slow. I should probably probably stay focused. I just need to see where his um, <laughs> where his that canister is that I can hit. Ooh. Ooh. This is good, right? Although he is sh my arrows don't seem to be doing much of anything. So let's see if I can get in there and get a few hits on him. Ooh! Before... <laughs> well, you know what? I could scan it, but I think he already sees me, so... <laughs> so, at this point... Ooh! Maybe... Oh, I should bring out my arrows again. I keep getting um, mashed pretty good there. Ooh! My sense is that this is definitely not a melee battle, but that's how we're uh, treating it. So that was the sawtooth. Oh my gosh. Hey, look at that. All right. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. Well, that would have been my guess, too, but apparently not. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. Um, 
Okay, then I'll, I'll see, see you there. Heart, then. You will. Excellent. So we completed that main quest, the point of the sphere. Gain some things and some stuff. I see that I am gathering skill points and so on. Um, which leads me to think that I should be <laughs> leveling up certain things. So what I might do is uh, I'm going to continue with this, this video. Go on for another 20 minutes and then probably check things out off camera. So I'll risk it for the moment. At least my... Um, I see. Health, uh, health is plentiful, so I'm all right with that. Even if the battles are still really messy right now. All right, enough gathering. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna make our way to the next quest marker. And I'll stop and save. Very good. Okay. Make our way down. Saving these for the trail. See what we might encounter along the way, if anything. Oh, I see though, we're back with the strider herd. So, if I don't attack them, can I just run past them? Well, we're going this way. Oh, she automatically takes out her weapon. Let's see. Oh, apparently not. That doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so the lesson there is uh, we have to be careful among all the enemies. And that they will attack. So there are no... Uh, <laughs> that's not true. There have to be some peaceful mechanicals. Oh, let's keep going. Eventually I won't run from, from a fight. But <laughs> for the moment... For the moment I will. And I will happily do that. As I've said, I don't have any particular designs with this playthrough other than to uh, focus mostly on the main story, getting through the main quests, and doing my best with combat. <laughs> Which remains iffy at this point, but, you know, especially after watching me with that sawtooth. Ugh. <laughs> we'll get better with the bow and arrow. I hope anyway. Okay, so Mother's Heart, and head up the hill here. There's Ross. You must speak. Yes, please. So, it's time. Are you ready? Uh, sure. Yes. I guess. It's louder than I expected. I've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Uh, I am all set. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Adeline. Here. Take this. To remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. Will always be an but I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This 
attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Up until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. Um... Oh... I... Understand? to have this then it will remind me of you of everything you did and how you helped prepare me for this day thank you heavier than it looks but the cord is strong may all mother bless you Day of all days. I have to keep my mind on the proving. Indeed, that was a sad and heartfelt goodbye. Oh, all right. Well, Aloy, let's see what's next. You will turn back, outcast. Bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. Uh, we will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Wow. Well, talk about just being thrown into the fire. Okay, then. Um, we're going to go find this quote-unquote old friend. We'll save along the way. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? To climb the watchtowers quite Over here. It's Teb. It's that kid. <laughs> it's Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Oh. Oh. Uh, so I get a free outfit?
New Nora Braves armor stitched by Teb, accentuated by Alloy, <laughs> Aloy's own designs. Offers no extra protection, but can be upgraded. All right, I guess that's it. So we'll equip it. Okay. The Nora Brave is free of charge. All right. Oh, I can pick up all sorts of different outfits for her. Mm -hmm. Well, well, we'll uh, we'll get to that soon enough. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes flying, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. So, up to the Matriarch's Lodge we go. And, oh, I see. Different markers, new markers. That particular one that's at my back shows a traitor. Oh, I can sit and watch. Okay. Uh, I can talk to a whole bunch of different people. I can interact. Okay. Uh, there's a lot to do. Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed <laughs> to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Okay. <laughs> what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. What I want is for you to climb down. What you want is for me to have no fun at all. It follows the Fine. Of the warrior Stay up on the roof all night if you want. Yeah, I will. <sighs> she can't tell me what to do. I'll climb so far up she can't see me. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. I hope he doesn't fall. Okay. In the beginning. Huh. All all the things things to search. Oh, it's also exciting. Okay, all right. <laughs> Who? You. What can I do for you? Oh, it's Karst. Karst? <laughs> what are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now? Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Um, I'm not going to trade Always happy to take your just shot. yet. <laughs> but maybe. Let's talk to the matriarch first. Oh, there's the angry mob. Okay. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with the card job. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <coughs> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the cart. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. 
Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. yeah. So the message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Thank you. So sensible. <laughs> An enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th woman of the Radiant Line. Everyone's acting like these cursed Karja are honored guests. Unknown device detected. No, the Karja stands with you. Cursed Karja are honored guests. I'm hearing hearing people, and I have to talk to the man wearing a focus. Just like mine. I should be like him. We join your prayers that they will Where do you find a focus? That means I'm enjoying the festival. We're gonna find out. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? Anora, wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, oh, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> Hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. Um, I'm gonna ask about Olin again. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Um, I guess I should go to the blessing. I should make my way to the blessing. <laughs> yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Well, that was an interesting conversation. All right, let me get out of the mob here and the somewhere around here. We have to go to the blessing ceremony, but I think we're going to save that for next time. Guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Horizon Zero Dawn, and I hope that you will join me in the next video for more. Until then, if you want to find more Virtual Bastion, we are at virtualbastion.com and our social media links are down in the video's description and do stick around. We've got a lot of videos, a lot of playlists here for you to check out. So you're bound to find something you like. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.